Well, it's, it's a wonderful big step. The fact that today we do our largest ever new station opening speech, both to the potential of Goa and the ambition of Indigo, and the fact that we do fly now here right from day one, 168 frequencies per week to eight different destinations. Again, it's, it's a wonderful day and a good start of the year for us. How do you think that the two airports is differently for the passengers? One is the existing old Devolin Airport and now the Mopo. Well, the, the two airports have a geographical distance, so they also serve somewhat different catchment areas, and they could supplement to each other. They could sort of coexist, and there's m more places in the world where one city has multiple airports. The today airport basically was reaching its limits of capacity. That's why the new airport is being built. The fact that we could do this big opening right from the start speaks to the potential of the market. We do expect in the first year of operation to have at least 1.5 million customers flying in and out. Again, I think that speaks to the potential of the market and that's why we keep the operation at the Dublin airport and in addition, we add this new flights to the new airport. And how it benefited for the passengers? Well, I think it gives more opportunities for the customers to fly. Those who have to go up north could fly to, to the Mopai airport. Those who, who need to be more in south could fly to, to Dublin. Um, it also gives passengers an opportunity to fly in from one airport, fly out from the other airport. And at the end of the day, it's more, more choice for our customers. That's what it's all about. In terms of uh, ticketing? Pricing? Well, the pricing will be determined in the usual way, so there's always a, a balance between capacity and demand. It also depends from which destinations people are coming. In principle, there's no, not, a, not a significant difference between the two airports in terms of, uh, of, of that pricing. But of course, there are always usual variations between the two airports. What is your future plan to you know, put more strength into Goa, I mean to say in this airport, because there is a lag? Nike uh, parking capacity and uh, you know it is a nicely built, a big airport and there is no yeah. time slots as per the you know bar for the defense right now. Well, that's an important part in order to build up our network here. Again, today we start at eight destinations, 12 flights per day, 168 uh, per week. We expect we expect to build that. Uh, throughout the year, coming summer, and then the next peak will adding more flights and more frequencies and more destinations uh, to that. Uh, again, if the Dublin airport will have the opportunity, we'll also adding there. Uh, but obviously, today's insight learn us that the opportunities to add more flights and more destinations will be primarily here at this uh, new airport here in Mobile itself. Two quick questions uh, apart from this Mobile airport. When the white body aircraft operations will start? Well, we, we start when we have done all the procedures, all the approvals, so I wouldn't be able to commit on a precise day. I would say as soon as possible uh, we would like to start, and we're now finalizing the last bits and pieces in terms of getting all the approvals, procedures, and all done. And, you know, it's a big step for us. We need to prepare it well, and we're working on that now. My last question to you, that in a recent, in a month, I need to say in the last year of the December, and now there is a lots of violations in air we, we have seen. Like um, uh, we have reported the unruly behavior passengers, what as a aviation expert and the professionals do you, in your mind, that how do we stop and to tackle that kind of incident? Yeah, I think it's an important point to address. We have always put a lot of emphasis on that in our training for, for our crews. Uh, we want to provide a courteous and hassle-free service, but there's two ways in that. Uh, you know, our crew is being trained and, and we help them and we support them to the maximum to provide that hassle-free and courteous service, but there's a two-way street uh, in that one. So also here, we, we would, we would uh, work together with the authorities to make sure that we get the proper procedures and also if people are not behaving, that we're able to take the adequate, uh, the adequate measures. What's your message to the passengers who are unruly behavior? Treat our crew in the way you want to be treated. That would be my message.